In today's video, we take a detailed look at the Everyday Tote Pack from Peak Design. A slim, clean and minimalist tote bag that's good for everyday and photo carry and can easily transform from tote carry to backpack carry. I'm Ed from Rush Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please consider subscribing and also hitting the bell. Let's dive right in and check out the Peak Design Everyday Tote Pack. If you want to take a look at the product specs of the Everyday Tote Pack, there is a link in the description below as well as a QR code on the screen right now that you can scan with your phone camera. Also in the description below is a link to subscribe to our Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter where we talk about news in the carry world and where we also give away some carry gear to our subscribers every month. If you want to enter your chance to win, be subscribed to the newsletter as well as the channel. Alrighty, let's start off with the materials and the hardware of the Peak Design Everyday Tote Pack. The exterior fabric, the shell, is a 400 denier nylon canvas that is double polyurethane coated and is also DWR impregnated. The base of the bag features a slightly different material, it's a 900 denier waterproof bottom liner, so it's a much more durable fabric for when you're setting the bag down. Both of these fabrics are recycled fabrics, they're made of 100% post-consumer recycled materials. In terms of the other materials and hardware on the bag, we have anodized aluminium as well as glass reinforced nylon. We also have Peak Design's in-house super durable ultra zips. And in terms of the accents, it kind of depends on which colorway you get, either black or bone. This is black obviously, and so the accents are Hyperlon. We've also got Hyperlon zipper pulls as well. And if you get the bone colorway, all the accents are in leather. But taking a look at the features on the outside of the bag, in terms of branding, it's quite minimal. We have a black on black Hyperlon brand tab here that just says Peak Design, very subtle. And just on those ultra zip zipper pulls, you can see the embossed Peak Design logo just on the top there. On the front face, we have a really clean front face, no external compartments or anything like that on the front. But one thing to draw attention to are these little accessory loops, these attachment points at the base here that you can see. On the tote pack, there are eight separate attachment points. So there's two here on the base, and then there's another one just underneath this hall handle, one there and then another one underneath there. So that's four on the front, and then there's another four on the back. These attachment points are meant to be for Peak Design's carry strap, and this makes Peak Design's cord hook system. So say for instance, you wanna affix something to the front of the bag or the base of the bag, or even the back of the bag, you can clip on these carry straps and affix gear on externally. So say for instance, I wanna affix my Western Rise Airloft shirt jacket to the front. I don't have any space inside the main compartment. I just want this on the front so I can quickly grab it when I need to. Grab my cord hook, clip it onto that little hook. You should hear a satisfying click. Come around to the other side, clip it on. Do the same for the other side. And cinch down the excess to tighten it up. I have a little bit of elastic webbing here to just tidy up that strap slack. And there we have gear affixed onto the front face of the bag. Really useful for when you have some extra gear that you just can't fit inside the bag. And also when not in use, you can simply stow it away until the next time you need them. Now for the base of the bag, you might want to carry maybe a mat or a picnic rug, or perhaps even a tripod if you're using this tote for camera carry. Now there's little hall handles on the side that I mentioned here, a good place to just grab the bag from, but also a great place for you to attach any carabiners or other accessories. So there we just have some hero clips attached to the side there. So say for instance you want to have a water bottle hanging on the outside of your bag, you can store a water bottle inside, but if you just wanted that easy quick access from the outside, and you have a water bottle with a loop on the top. This is a Hydra Pack 1 litre flux water bottle. Really cool bottle because when you're finished with it, it actually compresses. You could simply hook that on the outside and then you have a water bottle hanging on your bag. So really good that you have these options on the side there. So looking at the top here, we just have the haul handles or the tote handles of the bag. It's this nice nylon webbing, really soft to the touch and also padded inside as well. And you can see they're fixed now by magnets. So they stick together when you put them in place. There's a little magnet inside there and then a magnet inside this handle here. And they just come together. This is really helpful because it always retains this shape at this point. So when you want to grab the bag in a pinch really quick, you can simply grab it and there's no problems there. The handles won't be flopping on the sides or anything like that. It's always gonna be in this fixed state when it's magnetized. Now taking a look at the back panel of the tote pack, we have these shoulder straps here, these backpack straps. They're actually quite nicely padded 
It's a really soft foam inside these shoulder straps and you can see that the foam side actually curls over to the front of the shoulder straps giving it that kind of edgeless finish so that it doesn't really dig into your shoulders when you are carrying gear. And they're slightly tapered and they curve around the end here so that they curve around your body when you're carrying it so that's good. Got a hypolon loop here as well as a nylon webbing loop if you want to attach any other gear maybe a torch or anything like that you could do that. You can see the reflective Peak Design logo on that hypolon tab. Nice touch. And as mentioned, a key part of the tote pack is that it can transform between different carry modes. So if you wanted to use this as an exclusive tote, you want to carry in this tote or briefcase mode, you can actually stow away these shoulder straps. So at the bottom here, we have that anodized aluminium G-hook clip that's currently clipped onto the shoulder strap. So if we just unclasp that, take it off, and then we pull all of the strap that's currently tucked away inside this lower lumbar area. We pull that strap out. Here you can see that at the end of the shoulder strap we have this daisy chain webbing. And this is how you adjust the tightness or the looseness of these shoulder straps. So once you figure out which loop is optimal for your carry, then you simply loop it on and then tuck away all the excess behind this lumbar area. That's really useful and it makes for a very clean silhouette. So once you loosen your shoulder strap, just fold it up here and then you can actually tuck it away behind this flap here. And you can tuck away this bottom part inside this little insert here and it's tucked away really nice and clean. So when you have both shoulder straps tucked away and those little attachment points at the bottom tucked away, it's a really nice clean face, pretty much the same as the front. And inside that stowed area, there's a little magnet there that just keeps it nice and shut. Now, as mentioned, we have those attachment points just at the bottom here and also underneath the hall handles, so you can affix gear on the back side as well. Now, in terms of the compartments of the bag, we have two compartments, one quick access and then the main compartment. And there are also two ways to get inside the main compartment. So we can get through the main compartment through these magnetic flaps here and the weatherproof zipper, or you can access them through the sides of the bag. So here we have the Peak Design weatherproof ultra zipper here that you can access from the side. That goes the same for the other side. So taking a look at the quick access compartment just at the top here, this is a place where you'll be putting more of those smaller items that you don't want to get lost inside the main cavity. So we've got the ultra zip there, really nice and smooth. And here, hopefully you can see I've filled it to the brim. So this is quite packed out in this small area here. Just getting stuff out of the middle, I've got a Nomad Kevlar charging cable. I've also got my Bellroy note sleeve wallet. Also in the middle is a little key tether, a place where you can attach your keys to. Here we have this elastic cord that's really nice and stretchy. And at the end of it, there is Pick Design's anchor link. And so you can just attach your anchor link to your set of keys. Here I have my orbit key. And that's a really good way of just securing down keys. Now on both sides of the compartment, we have stretch mesh pockets to segment your gear. So on the front here, we have slightly bigger pockets. I've got a land up portable power bank. In the middle, we have another pocket. This is a really small pocket. Might be a good place for a USB thumb drive or maybe a little torch. On the other side, we have another bigger pocket. So I've got hand sanitizer. BNO wireless earphones. And then on the other side, we have more stretch mesh pockets to organize gear. So I've got two camera batteries for my camera inside, and then I've also got two moment lenses. So I've got a wide lens and an anamorphic lens. You can see that Peak Design have still implemented their bar tack stitching to just help identify what you've got in there. So if you're using this bag as a camera bag exclusively, then you might have four sets of batteries in there, and you can use this bar tack system to kind of identify which batteries are full and which batteries are empty. So that's the front quick access compartment. So that was the quick access compartment just at the front here. Now we're going to look at the main compartment and one of the ways to get into the main compartment is through the top here. So at the top here we have this wide top opening and it's secured down by these magnetic studs inbuilt in the flap. See them snapping together. Inside we have a weatherproof zipper also closing the compartment. Now if you're not too concerned about the weather conditions or it's not raining or anything, you can just keep this open and have the magnet shut and then you have quick access inside your main compartment. Now at the moment I've organized my gear horizontally with those flex fold dividers so I've got different levels of gear from the top to the bottom of the bag. So we can take a look at that now. If we come out on this side of the bag, you can see I've got a lens inside there, I've got an 85mm lens. 
We've got that tech patch that we were looking at earlier, and then we've got some gear at the bottom. If we open up on this side, you can see I've actually got a camera in there. This is my Panasonic GH5 with a 40 millimeter pancake lens. Now, if you're not too familiar with these flex fold dividers, these are basically Velcro dividers that can flex and fold. So you can actually open these up make yourself a little shelf or you can keep it flat and give yourself more space. Or say for instance, you wanna keep a water bottle inside, you could simply push this up and then also push this one up. Can't push it up right now, but then you could give yourself a little bit of space for a water bottle. At the bottom here, I just have a Patagonia rain jacket and I also have my Ozair face mask. Now inside the bag on both sides, we have this nice soft lined material that these flex fold dividers actually attach onto via Velcro take the divider out. This is the flex fold divider. So you could have it as a simple shelf or you could fold up these dividers and make it cubbies. So you have three different areas to store gear. You could put one thing there, one thing there, one thing in the middle. Or you could leave it flat and allow a water bottle to pass through there. Really good way of organizing gear because it allows you to adjust and adapt depending on what you're carrying. You might notice these two black lines of bar tack stitching. This just helps you align the shelf inside the bag according to the center line if you're installing them horizontally. That's just a little bit of visual guidance there for you. Inside here, I've just got my Evergood Civic Access pouch for my tech. Now, when you take the flex fold dividers out, it's just a big empty space. You see both of those sides of soft lining. And as mentioned, you can install these flex fold dividers either horizontally or vertically. Totally depends on how you want to organize your gear and what kind of gear you're carrying. Now, this side zipper gives you really good quick access to your gear. But if you're very conscious about security and about thieves and pickpocketers getting into your gear, you can actually lock this side zipper down when you don't want people to get into it. So what you do is you grab the Hyperlon zipper pull here and you can actually unclasp the zipper pull. Just pull it up. And now you've got this Hyperlon strap here. Grab that strap. And at the bottom of the bag, there's this little loop here. Feed the strap through, pull it back around, and then reclasp it to the zipper. And now we have restricted access to that compartment. You can't get into it without unclasping that Hyperlon zipper pull. That same feature is on the other side of the bag. You can see the little tab there. So you can do that with both sides. Now inside this main compartment, there are no flex fold dividers in there right now, but inside there we've also got a device compartment. So we've got a laptop compartment that can fit up to a 15 inch laptop and also a tablet sleeve. So this is my 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina and it fits in there fine. If you don't carry a tablet with you, you could store a little notebook inside this compartment. And on both edges, hopefully you can see that there's a little slip pocket for you to store a stylus or even a pen. The laptop sleeve is suspended from the base of the bag, so it'll be protected from any hard impacts on the base. So in the everyday tote pack, you can obviously carry it in the brief or tote mode. And then of course, you've got backpack style carry. For your reference, I'm 5'10". Well everyone, the everyday tote pack is a clean and minimalist tote. It has a beautiful silhouette. It's a well-made bag, it has good materials, smart organization, and it offers two intuitive carry modes. If you're interested in getting the Peak Design Everyday Tote, there is a link in the description below, as well as a QR code on the screen for you to scan with your phone camera. If you like this video, you found it helpful, using any of those affiliate links really do help support the work of the channel. And if you wanna support us further, you can hit the like button, hit the bell, let us know your thoughts about the Peak Design Tote Pack. And as always, subscribe to see more carry gear walkthroughs if you haven't already and also subscribe to the rush faster carry roundup newsletter if you want to see more videos like this or more videos from peak design then check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video but for now this has been the everyday tote pack from peak design take care and we'll see you next time